Hi, I'm Bailey Colley, and today I'm going to be talking about the four stress responses. When the amygdala in our brain senses a threat, we react with a stress response. It is an automatic, defensive, survival reaction that happens instantly. Our neocortex becomes disabled, and we are sent into our brainstem, our survival state. In people who have experienced trauma, their amygdala is enlarged and hypersensitive, so they spend a lot of time in the stress response. They also become specialized in one or two types of responses, unlike people without trauma who experience a variety of stress responses, depending on the trigger. Most people are familiar with the stress responses of fight and flight. Next, freeze was discovered, and more recently, a fourth F, fawn, was noted as an automatic stress response. The stress response fight is associated with challenging what is causing the perceived stress. There is an unconscious belief that power and control will create safety. In the classroom, this looks like a child acting out. The student may be aggressive, defiant, argumentative, hyperactive, or overly silly. A flight response is associated with removing ourselves from what is causing our stress or triggering us. There is an unconscious belief that avoiding triggers will create safety. In the classroom, this child appears withdrawn. The student may leave the classroom, skip class, avoid others, or be disengaged. The stress response freeze is associated with shutting down and disassociating. There is an unconscious belief that people are dangerous and solitude will create safety. In the classroom, the child looks like they're checked out or going numb. The student may exhibit refusal and blank looks. They disconnect from their experiences. The fourth stress response is fawn, which is associated with being a people pleaser who is compliant. There is an unconscious belief that they need to give up themselves to fully meet the needs and wants of another person to create safety. These people are afraid to say what they are thinking because they do not want to disappoint. They are avoiding emotional investment and potential disappointment by hiding their true selves and overdue for others. Students do not feel good when they are coming out of a stress response. They feel fear, anxiety, failure, and shame. We need to create safe environments for all students when they are in our classrooms. We must help them stay in their neocortex if we want them to learn, be able to regulate their emotions, and stay out of their brain stems. This is Bailey Colley. Thanks for watching.